Tibet is a Buddhist theocracy. Although there are several powerful monastic orders, the Yellow Hat sect, the newest and most conservative, currently rules the country. The government does employ non-monastic officials and has an army and a prison. The head of the Tibetan government is the Dalai Lama, a reincarnation of the Buddha of Compassion. The current Dalai Lama, the 14th, has taken power at the age of 16 to aid his nation in crisis. In remote areas, the local government may be a monastic abbot, a landowning aristocrat, a hereditary chieftain, or a rich trader. Some Tibetans live in cities, which feature much of what can be found in any city. Rich, poor, crime, vice, celebrations, and bustling trade. Many Tibetans live in rural farming communities, where barley is grown and traded. Many Tibetans live in nomadic communities that live in yak hair tents on the vast open plains of Tibet. The primary occupation there is herding yaks, goats, and sheep. Women in Tibet are allowed to do almost anything men can do, and enjoy much higher status there than in other nearby countries. More than 1 in 10 Tibetans are sent, at a young age, to go live in a men or women's monastery. Most stay monks for life. Monks can pursue a variety of careers, from doctors, to accountants, to simple laborers, to Buddhist teachers. Tibetans of all classes enjoy games, including archery and trick writing, epic poetry, travel, picnics, and dozens of festivals. Most Tibetans can read, at least a little. Tibetans are often described as humorous, hearty, curious, and practical. 